Hello people, um, I'm back with a makeup review. I do have a plan that I'm going to review a lot of brands and I'm specifically interested in startup brands or they don't necessarily have to be startups but like a little smaller brands like not the ones you find in every supermarket like Maybelline New York but smaller ones and maybe you hear that I'm a bit sick again I'm always making a video when I'm a little sick or I have a cold but yeah that's um, why my voice might be a little weird <laughs> the brand that I want to review today is called Iden Minerals or Eden um, I guess Iden in English but yeah it's a Swedish brand it's cruelty free allergy tested mostly vegan and I think it's only sort of sold at pharmacies at least I have only found the brand at pharmacies basically it's not supposed to be a bunch of crap in like the ingredients also their name is kind of special Iden Eden whatever Iden was a northern goddess during the Vikings like the Viking Age. She actually guarded golden apples that she then gave to um, other gods. Also, the apples promised eternal youth and beauty. So I think that's kind of a cool name for a brand. Actually, fun story. Um, in high school, I once had to make up a startup or a company, like in theory, and we needed a name for that and I came up with Eden myself because I actually wanted a name of a goddess and I googled like northern goddesses and I find Eden and I thought it was a good name but yeah then we had to change the name because I actually realized I already had a product from a company named Eden fun story <laughs> this company started about 10 years ago doing its like developments and research it's supposed to be suitable for everyone, for every skin type, even the most sensitive skin, which is good. I have really sensitive skin, not in like a way that I have acne and a lot of pimples and stuff. Actually, I've been quite blessed with that, but I have like very, very sensitive skin when it comes to rashes and when it just comes to dry skin and it can be pretty bad, like I have had a lot of problems with my skin. Also, they launched their company on the 8th of March, so International Women's Day 2011. That is really cool. And obviously they have passed, passed all different allergy tests so that they, they're able to be, in, be sold in pharmacies. And you actually find this brand in most pharmacies in the northern countries. I think in Sweden it's even every pharmacy that has their products. When I googled information about them, I found out that like their um, slogan is simply pure and clean, which is a good slogan because it's supposed to be like, yeah, re really good ingredients and gives beauty to everyone because everyone should be able to use the products. They also say that they're based on female power and equal rights, I mean, which is great. And they actually do cooperate with V Skogen, which means each product they sell helps plant more trees, which also is very good. They're very um, environmentally friendly also, they claim to be. I mean, I haven't really checked like the facts. I've only read it on their website that they have sustainable beauty. So they try to... Um, look at the environment when it comes to transport, when it comes to, I guess, packaging and stuff as well. Let's talk a little bit more about the products um, themselves. Actually, um, they have more than 150 products, so they are actually a big brand, but they're just mostly known in the northern countries, but they have spread to a lot of different countries. Like, I know that they're known in Italy and I think United States, yeah, so they have spread out globally, but it's mostly known in the northern countries, especially Sweden. And they actually don't only have makeup, they also have skincare products, which 
seem to be very good because they are sold at pharmacies. And they also have hair care products. Now, also something really cool is their design of the products. It's a very clean design, but they um, have cooperated with a artist, an Italian artist called Patrizia Gucci. I don't know why she's called why her name is Gucci, but it is. She has actually made a lot of paintings for them that they use on their products. So I only have this one example here. This is a blush and a painting of the goddess, I guess. Eden. Eden, whatever. And um, yeah, so on like all their powder products or mineral products, they have like different paintings for each product. And they're beautiful and like super special, like you don't see those kind of paintings a lot. Pure cosmetics meets art and design, which is incredible. So it's not only like this boring pharmacy packaging, like, like you could imagine when I t talk about pharmacy products and pharmacy makeup. But no, 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 no. They have thought about the design here and it's not just... A pharmacy product it's also a little piece of art so um, they have a really good website um, they have have a lot of guides there because of you know also skin colors like what kind of foundation would suit you and so on and also they have a lot of information about their brand you know why it's called Aiden and so on which is very good because I think quite often you want to know a little bit more about what kind of product it is and how this started up and the website is a very fitting clean design and it's very easy you know to understand because sometimes websites can be quite complex and confusing and they also have like this part or bar at the website with vegan so you could just click on that and see all their vegan products so you don't have to do your research yourself if it's vegan or not which is a plus also um they don't actually have that many pictures of their products i did i'd claim now what i've seen they mostly just have their product picture and maybe a picture of like the color but like in like a computer design so it's not that clear but sometimes they also have put in some youtube videos where they apply the product they're not super professional but i mean it's just i mean it's there for the customers to see the color and how it looks so i think it's fine also with 150 products it's kind of hard to yeah have good pictures of every product and every color but at least their pictures are really good like the product portfolio pictures now the price is actually fine it's really okay because i mean they are special products they're you know all allergy tested they're probably you know some more expensive ingredients also when you make vegan products it quickly gets a little um, more expensive so i think it's totally fine um it's not the most um, cheap brand like they don't have the cheapest prices but i think that also would be wrong i mean you get some good quality stuff here i'd say you pay 11 euros or dollars i think euros for a nail polish i mean that's pretty good there are a lot of like expensive brands where nail polish costs about 25 euros or 20 so it's totally good i think for what it is then the colors are amazing like they don't have any crazy colors like you wouldn't find i don't know a super pink lipstick maybe I, i'm not sure <laughs> maybe you would find a super pink lipstick um i mean more like you wouldn't find a blue lipstick it's not that type of brand but they have so pretty like neutrals and so like a lot of different kinds of neutrals it's like it's not boring it's still super attractive like the colors i love that they have different mascaras they have a lot of different ones um i don't get brands who only have one mascara i think customers have a lot of different preferences when it comes to mascaras how the wand should be how the color should be if they want volume or length and so on so i like that very much also 
I do have one mascara from Aiden, and that's it's this one here. It gets on really easy. It's more of a volume type of mascara, and um, I like that you can build it up very well. Um, I like the brush or the wand, whatever it's called. And this one is also black and very buildable. Then they have a lot of elegant nail colors. They look super expensive. I have this one over here. It's a very neutral color, I'd say. Um, it's called Sandstein, which is sandstone in Swedish. I have it on my nails. Um, this is how it looked when I had one coat on. And this is how it looks with two coats. I prefer two coats. Um, but it's cool that you can build it up or have even three coats if you wanted more opaque. And as I said, they're only $11 or 11 euros. So really good for like a nail polish that is supposed to be seven free, vegan, the list is long. Then I also have a blush, which is the one I already showed you with this painting. It's called um, Hallon, which is, is a raspberry. I never know the names in English, but I'll write it down here. Um, yeah, but it's a berry. I like the color a lot. It's very pink. Um, I think it doesn't have the biggest pigment in comparison to other blushes I have But it's I mean, I don't think especially with a blush. It's not that bad because you can build it up and um, I think it blends really well into the skin. I wear it right now Yeah, but it just took a while to get the color like showing because yeah, it needs to show off, definitely, otherwise it's... Why do you even have a blush? I also use the blush in my crease. That's something I really like to do sometimes, to like make the whole makeup cohesive. That you see that everything like matches together, like the cheeks, the eyes, the lips. So I used it in my um, crease and I think it's really pretty having like this pinkish colors in the crease. So for that one the same was there you had to build it up a little i got all the products from a physical store um and a pharmacy in finland i am very happy with all the products like it's not many i couldn't get more products for this video because i'm a student with no money one thing that may, might be like a little minus is that they don't have any exciting palettes all their eyeshadows are like in this like in palettes with where you just get four small eyeshadows and the eyeshadows are very neutral and I mean they're pretty but they don't have like super special ones so that's maybe like a little less exciting and it's not like I have like a super urge to buy one of those small palettes I'd rather buy like a big one from Naked with a lot of um, exciting color okay these are maybe not that special either but um or these this one from kaya i mean there's some most more special ones in there but i mean for neutral colors they're pretty they don't have any liquid lipsticks either which you know i don't mind i don't necessarily need liquid lipsticks if their creamy lipsticks are good then that's more than enough i haven't tried them out but i would eventually do if I had some money <laughs> but basically all, all their powder products are super super cool also with their design and their colors also they have cool brushes which all look very you know cohesive and sleek also I like that the skincare bottles are all white bottles looking all the same and the hair care bottles are like the opposite just black bottles which also look all the same so it's all very like thought through and cohesive and nice. Also, I love how expensive this nail polish feels. For 11 euros, it's super good. They also, their logo is obviously this um, apple because of the goddess that distributed these apples to other gods. But yeah. That was my review about this brand. I hope you have maybe found something 
new in and interesting and that you like this video and I'll leave all the information down below um, where you get to this to these products and you know their Instagram and stuff yeah I hope to see you in my next review have a good day bye bye